Now, let's take a look at the triangular part of the rectangular array. It's always going to be half the number of marks in the rectangular array. We can use this fact to actually build a little formula for these triangle numbers, triangular numbers. All right, let's take a look here. When we had one uh, on the first one triangular dot, okay, the rectangular array had two. So let's think about this. The triangular part is half of the rectangular number of marks, or the rectangular array. This rectangular array was a one by two. So we want half of the one by two, which is one. There was one right, little blue Let's move to dot. the second term. The second term, the rectangular array was two by three, and we wanted half of that. So it's half of 2 by 3, which is half of 6, which is 3, and you can see there are 3 like manner. The pattern continues. Half of 3 by 4 equals 6. Notice these are the numbers in the sequence. Alright, so what do we do when there are n terms? We want to find the nth term, the value of the nth term. Well, we've got a pattern happening here. In every single case, the number of term appears in the method for generating it, okay? And it's being multiplied by a number that is one more than the number of term. And then, of course, we're taking a half. So, the explicit formula for the nth term would be, let's see here, one half times the number of the term times n plus one. Okay, see, n is five, n plus one is six. So this is what we call an explicit formula because it will calculate the value of any term. You just tell it the term, it will explicitly find the value for that term. All right, so let's use this to find the 20th triangular number. Now, using Euler notation for this function, we would say that t of n is equal to n times the quantity n plus 1 over 2. This is another way of writing multiplication by 1 half. You're going to see it written like this quite frequently. So, all right, we want to find the 20th triangular number, so we're just going to put an argument of 20 in here for the n. So we would say that t of 20 is equal to 20 times 20 plus 1 is 21, and that's all going to be divided by 2. All right. Well, let's see. It goes here. into 20 10 times, and 10 times 21 is 210. So, t of 20 is 210. Now, there's another way of writing this, um, a slightly different notation. We can use subscripted notation. We can say t sub 20 is equal to 210. It means exactly the same thing as this. This is subscripted notation, and this is Euler notation, or sometimes called function notation.